Welcome to 28 Fish. This is our story. Any syrup in my beard? No, I think I'm good to go. All right, Mike here at 28 Fish, sitting here on Saturday morning in March. Super cold outside, so we're just doing a little bit of video editing, have a little coffee, and uh, enjoying the day. So some advice I got on a YouTube channel, I picked up from a YouTube channel and Jay Siemens there, it's make the videos you want to see. So here's a video that I think you guys would probably want to see and I certainly would want. And that is um, to do with electronic or electric augers. So I've had an eye on for almost two years now. Um, I like it for the most part, but a few things that I've had issues with are breaking, breaking of blades. The other thing is the battery life. Okay, so I mean it's inevitable that the battery is going to die. The colder that this these lithium ion batteries get, the less they get. So I, you know, I ride it in my jacket and I make sure it's in the cab of the truck when we're going to the ice. But um, I think the biggest drawback is that it is a 40 volt DC, 3 amp hour battery. So um, it's 108 watt hours and so you could do the math and figure out how long that should last but certainly the cold affects it so that three amp hour i think is probably the biggest drawback so now that i'm doing more running and gunning finding new lakes to fish uh, i got to cover a lot of ice uh, and by covering a lot of ice this time of year you're drilling through almost three feet of ice so as any drill doesn't matter if it's gas or electric it's going to have trouble trouble keeping up with that it's going to eat into your fishing time and so forth so what I thought was maybe if I went to a bigger battery, um, I might get the length of uh, fishing that I want out of the drill. All I really want to do is be able to get from day start to day end. Best thing I could do is to pick up this new battery. So we got the Ion XC5. And so it is a bigger battery. It's a five amp hour opposed to the three amp hour of this guy. They claim 60% longer battery life. I mean, you do the math, it kind of makes sense. So I want to see if that holds true. Uh, I've only used this for just two holes, that's it. So I got them both freshly charged. And what I like to do is go out on the ice in real condition. So it is minus stupid outside right now. I think with the wind chill, it's like minus 45 or something like that. Wind chill, I, I think would affect the, the battery. Um, it certainly affects cars and everything else. So. This is ideal and true conditions, authentic conditions to test this. So I think what I'm gonna do is go out. Um, I got an area that I wanna basically survey out anyway. I'm trying to find a particular uh, rock structure that must be in a particular bay where I caught a rock bass out of nowhere, not expecting to. So I feel like there must be some kind of boulder spree or a reef that I didn't know about that I couldn't see on my boat's uh, sonar. So the best thing I wanna do is I'm gonna drill uh, a grid out in this bay and use these two batteries to achieve that, count the holes, multiply it by the inches of ice, and figure out exactly how long these things will last, and see if the 200, and, well I got it on sale, $239 plus tax, is worth it for the second battery. Um, the other thing it's gonna achieve for me is um, knowing that lake a little bit better, and sometimes you just gotta put that time in. Uh, you know, short of waiting till summer and getting some down imaging done in that area which i don't have um not yet anyway i'm sure i'll buy it but you hear that christy mm -hmm. <laughs> um i don't really have the technology other than drilling holes and dropping a camera down to really see what's there so i hope to show you uh what this battery is really about and whether it's not whether or not it's really worth your buying So change of plans, uh, it's uh, minus 23 on the thermometer with about a 40 km, km hour wind so that's uh, minus 37. It's way too freaking cold out here. The area we're going to go is really we're going to target some big perch and I want my wife and my boys to get a chance to do that but it's just too dangerous to get out on the ice. So instead I'm going to do this uh, battery challenge out here on our lake or slough whatever you want to call it. Kind of a dugout attached to a uh, natural slough body here. That's one of the reasons we bought our acreage here so we set up. I have put rainbow trout in here, they didn't seem to take, but we got all sorts of ice here that we can uh, test this out on. 
Okay, so I set up the Frabel shack here, my little shack, just to heat it up right now because I know the camera gear that we're setting up on the iPhone is going to freeze up right away. So it's not going to be able to do any of the film filming if I don't put it in there. So you can see behind me, I kind of have a path. I plowed that out over Christmas. So we're going to have a bit of a skating loop. It's since blown in, but that'll be perfect. Kind of give us a little bit of lanes. What I'm going to do is drill on this side. We're going to drill the uh, with the X, X battery, the 5 amp. And on this side, we're going to drill with a green one and we'll see which one can get it done. Okay, like I said, I'm going to uh, do the battery test here. So we're gonna have the classic ion on this side and the X ion on this side. We'll see how far we can get. Well, as you can see, the drill is stuck halfway down. Um, so I drilled a number of holes here. I'll count them up at the end. And uh, we're able to kind of get uh, a number of holes drilled. Not as many as I actually thought. And boy, oh boy, there are freshwater shrimp in here. That's why I thought I'd put some rainbow trout in. But let's try the X battery. Oh, it is deathly cold out here. Holy smokes. Well, that X battery, unbelievable how far it drilled. Uh, I think it was 28 holes. 28, 29 holes. We'll go count them right now. I couldn't believe the RPM off the bat, way faster. Uh, I think I was five holes past where I drilled with the uh, original ion battery, and it still was at two out of three bar lights. Uh, I'm impressed. My hands are aching from holding that drill, but uh, poor me. Okay, let's go have a look. Okay, here's the first hole from that other ion. Hit the mud, that's probably not a very good thing. So that's one each. That's two. Look at the freshwater shrimp coming out of here. Like, they're just huge. Like, that would be wicked. Oh my gosh, look at that. Caught in the act. Oh my. There shall be frozen copulation in the streets of Saskatchewan. <laughs> Little doors action there. Anyway, well, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and a half for the ion, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, <laughs> 28 fish, baby, 28 holes, so basically, 27 and a half, so that's pretty crazy. Okay, the next step is checking the depth of those holes. So I'm gonna check at the uh, front hole and the last hole. From what I saw, it felt like the ice was pretty well even and uniform, but uh, we'll check it out and see. Okay, so here's hole number one for the X, just uh, this one was not in the mud, so. Let's get down to the ice level here. Around 30 inches. Okay, so here's the farthest hole. Let's see how deep we got here. Yeah, 30 inches. So pretty uniform, 30 inches all the way. We'll do the math and see which one, how much actual ice it cracked down. Unbelievable, look at the ice on my face. Wow. 
Well, it's just in the shack here, warming up, getting the frost out of the old mustache there. So, crunch the numbers there. So at 30 inches, at 28 holes, we got basically 840 inches of ice that the X battery punched through. The other battery, 11 holes at 30 inches, gave us about uh, 330. Remember, both drills also didn't quite get through the last hole each, but I mean, that's another probably 20 inches, so whatever. If it didn't get a hole drilled, it's not going to help you fishing. So basically, you got 330 versus 840 inches in real time, 30 inches of ice and minus freaking 40. Uh, that's not bad. Um, I was expecting more actually out of both batteries, but that it is what it is. So if you do the math, I guess that's like 254% increase in, you know, ice drill capacity. Uh, I am happy with that battery between the two of them. That gives me, you know, about 40 holes in this kind of conditions, which for me would probably be the max that I would drill. I mean, if I was really trying to uh, run and gun or, you know, check out a bay, um, I'm just limited to the equipment that I have. So I can't really complain because that's what I got. I mean, the overall cost, you're running, I don't know, I think this drill cost me, I got her on sale, but I think it's normally like $700 now. Plus the $239, that was on sale for the X battery. I just bought that at uh, Fishing Hole in Saskatoon. So, you know, all in, it's quite a bit of money. But again, you're not paying for gas, you're not paying for fuel. You're not dumping fuel all over. You're not having cold start problems or choke problems or mice getting in your carb or whatever, you know, else problems they have with uh, gas. I'm not really here to debate the two, but I just think uh, this is what I got and this is what I can do. So hopefully that it helps you understand whether or not to make your decision up if you want to buy this extra battery, put that kind of money into the drill and go from there. Um, I mean, if you're going on over, over weekend, I think you would want to make sure you had yourself an electric plug-in so you could charge these batteries uh, because you could very well use them both up in one day if you're really giving her or if you're supplying the auger for a crew. So at any rate, um that's the comparison i hope that this helps you make a decision and uh you know what if you haven't please subscribe to 28 fish i look forward to putting out more videos i know this would be helpful for for me uh in my decision making and buying the battery and hopefully this helped you